Hello and welcome to Sunday School Online. Now before we get into today's lesson, we shall pray. Father God, we just come to you another day, another day to hear your marvellous words, your marvellous teaching to us, Lord, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's scripture is taken from Matthew 7, verse 7 to 11, and I shall read. Act, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who acts receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. O oh, what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will you give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gift to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to you, those who ask him? What that scripture is telling us that we have an heavenly Father that take care of his children. And also, we have a earthly Father that also take care of us. Today we're going to learn about the fathers. Last week we learned about the mothers, but today it's going to be the fathers. Now everyone has a mother and father. Now you hear about one parent family, either you're living with your mother or you're living with your father, but it doesn't matter. You are... Everyone has a mother and a father, but today we're going to learn about the father. Now, we're going to show some pictures of what you do with your fathers when you're out. Let's have a look at the pictures. You saw the fathers playing with their children. You saw them eating with their children. You saw them praying with their children. There is so many things that you do with your dad. You know, the same thing that you do with your mom is the same thing that you do with your dad. That's how it should be. So you grow together and bond together. Just 
And today's picture, what we're going to draw is ties. Do you know we also have Father's Day? As well as Mother's Day, we have Father's Day. And we do things with our fathers. We even give them breakfast in bed. And draw little cards to say, I love you, Dad. And we've got, um, what have we got here? We've got ties. And it says, thank you, thank you God for fathers. So we draw a little tie and we'll cut it out. You can color it. And when you've done that, send your picture to this email so that I can have a look at it. Before we go, we shall pray. So bow your head and close your eyes. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for our fathers. We thank you that they exist in our life. For those that don't have fathers to exist in their life, we pray that you will be their father in their lives, Lord. And we thank you for everything that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. So here ends today's lesson. So I'll see you next week. Bye.